I'm Jonathan Knutson with the Synopsys Cybersecurity Research Center, or CERC. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a trial version of our CodeSite IDE plugin to locate Spring for Shell in your own applications. So I'm here in Visual Studio Code, my IDE, and I have my application loaded up already in Secure Bank. And the first step you'll need to do is to install the CodeSite plugin which you do in the usual way. Go to extensions, type in Synopsys code site and up it pops, and then you can install it directly from here. I've already installed it. Um, when you install it, you'll need to fill out a form to activate a free 30 day trial. Uh, but once you've done that, uh, you'll be all set and you'll have uh, an additional item on the left here, S for Synopsys. This is the code site plugin. And if we go take a look at that, uh, you can see that it can do scanning for both static analysis or SAST, as well as SCA or software composition analysis. The plugin itself includes uh, fast, lightweight analyzers for both of these technologies. Uh, and in addition, you can hook up the CodeSite plugin to our uh, larger Black Doc or Coverity uh, installations as well. To kick off a SCA scan of my project, I'll just hit this uh, play button here, uh, but I already did that. It completed in about 15 seconds. And what it's showing me here is a list of open source components that I used in my application that have vulnerabilities in them. And at the top of the list, you can see the Spring Framework. If I click on it, it shows me more details, uh, including the uh, subcomponents of Spring Framework that I used in my project. And at the bottom here is a list of the vulnerabilities that apply to Spring Framework. At the top of the list here, this is Spring for Shell right here. In our Black Duck knowledge base, we're tracking this as BDSA 2022-0858. Um, we know it has an assigned CVE number, uh, CVE 2022-22965. Uh, but it actually hasn't arrived in the NVD, the, the big list of vulnerabilities yet. Uh, and this just kind of shows why we have the Black Duck knowledge base. Um, it's, it's faster, it's more accurate, it's more consistent than the NVD, which means that um, customers learn about vulnerabilities sooner and can start fixing things sooner. In this case, um, if we want to address this vulnerability in my app, Insecure Bank, we can click on one of these fix it buttons and the code site plugin says, hey, uh, there's this newer version of Spring Framework available, 5.3.18. Uh, you should really upgrade so that it takes care of these vulnerabilities. And it also notices that I'm using Maven for builds and tells me to go fix it there. So if I open up my Maven pom.xml file, I've got a variable here where I'm specifying the version of Spring Framework that I'm using. And if I just bump this from, from 538 to 5318 and go back to the code site plugin and scan my project again, again, it takes about 15 seconds to complete. And when it's done, my list of vulnerable components no longer includes Spring Framework. And I can go ahead and address my other vulnerable components in a similar way. You can see how a developer can use the code site plugin to quickly assess risk right inside of the IDE. This is useful and allows developers to move quickly and fix security problems. But if you're really going to do this right, you want the developers to be inside of a process that includes security at every phase. That means doing static analysis, uh, SCA, and other types of security testing and making them automated and integrated with the development lifecycle. Thanks for listening, and I urge you to go to your IDE marketplace and give the CodeSite plugin a try.